Laying on my tie bag. And look, he's been pooping everywhere. That's disgusting, dude. That's gross. That morning, like, sniffles. <laughs> morning running nose. <sighs> well, good morning. All right. Where in the heck do I go? This way, I think. Okay. Ah. <laughs> uh. Oh man, I was so tired last night by the time I got here. I just like set my tent up, crawled in it. Um, <clears throat> I don't really like getting to camp super late. Um, Cause you don't feel like you have time to like do anything. Unless you want to do it in the dark. And I just don't really like that. Um, I think I did 17 and a half miles yesterday. But I really need to check that. Um, of course, that's obviously counting going off trail to the restaurant back. But, yeah, it was a long day. <laughs> so, and with all the rocks, I mean, you just, I know, I know I talk a lot about rocks in Pennsylvania. I have a feeling a lot of through hackers talk about the rocks in Pennsylvania. Um, and it's funny, the first half of Pennsylvania, it just really isn't like that. But that second half, I mean, it's just, it's hard not to think about rocks. But yeah, it was just, yesterday was so tiresome with all the rocks. <laughs> but look, I have my AT buff on. Uh, my friend Lainey, who I used to work with, she got that for me before I left. And I didn't take it initially because I was like, well, I didn't feel like I had earned. <laughs> I know that sounds silly, but I thought I didn't want to wear an AT something, AT, because in my mind I hadn't really done that much. So didn't want to like wear it and but since I've hiked about I think almost 800 miles I think I've earned it so I'm gonna wear it now that, that keeps sounds really nice I should stay there um all right anyway I'm on the trail now it's supposed to be a nice day today I'm gonna be doing um almost 14 miles to Kirkridge shelter so it should be hopefully not as, seem as bad of a day. I should be able to get to camp earlier. I did get a really late start. It's like almost 9.30. Um, I slept in. I was really tired. But I think I earned it. All right. Well, we'll see what the day holds. Uh, I've been kind of texting with Mama Bear. And she said that pretty much today was all rocks. But like not the big ones, just the little annoying ones. <laughs> Which is, I don't know. I mean, it's better because I can at least keep a little bit better pace. I mean, more so than I could on boulders. But still. But the nice thing is, tomorrow, I only have six miles to Delwater. I always want to say Delwater. Delaware Water Gap. And I will be on to Pennsylvania. And I'll be in New Jersey. Yay! So this is it. Last day. Last day in Pennsylvania. Well, I mean, technically I'll be in it tomorrow. But, I mean, I'll be leaving it tomorrow. So. All right. Enough talking. Time to hike. View down into <clears throat> somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where that is, but huh. all right, head it this way. room sick spotted it looks like someone tried to pull this 
marker out of the ground. Kiss, kiss. This is pretty much what it's been so far this morning. Just lots of rocks and this kind of similar view. It's got me going pretty slow because the rocks are pretty wet from yesterday. I'm trying to avoid them, but it's kind of hard. Checking my legs after this. Ugh. Again, this is short. Ouch. A little bit of a view. And then it'll be like over here. There you go. So I've been kind of in a mood to talk today, but this trail has pretty much been like this, which means. I really can't do a whole lot of talking. At least not like face to face kind of thing without taking the risk of tripping and busting my kneecap open. So, um, and I don't even really like to film too much because I have to be so even more careful than usual um, <clears throat> because I'm not able to use my trekking poles well. So maybe whenever I get a break, I can kind of talk a little bit. I don't know. There's just some things I kind of wanted to tell y'all, talk to y'all about. You know, I don't know. Just been kind of in a talky mood today. But right now it's in my head. <laughs> so. Look at some other side of Amanda. Oh, he's so cute. There's a little bit of view. I think there's an interstate down there. There's another view over there. I don't feel like walking all the way over to the. Oh, sorry. I don't feel like walking all the way over to those rocks. Sorry. Getting close to wind gap. Here the traffic. Alright, I'm taking a break here. We're on top of the interstate. <laughs> it's right there. Not top, near. And there is like water. That man left. I'm gonna have a lunch break. Take my socks and shoes off. I'm sweaty. This is completely drenched. And this is lunch, because I'm pretty hungry. this thing and I gotta climb. Oh man. I kinda wanna sit out here and go dry but I don't have time. So I took my lunch break because I wanted to take it near that water so I could camel up. It would be nice to feel dry. It would. Oh well. Well I was gonna talk back there at my lunch break but it was way too noisy. Um, I had to just climb a bunch of stairs. Straight up. I still got a little bit of climbing, I think, to do here. Hopefully it's gradual. It kind of looks like it is right now. 
Um, oh man, I'll tell you what. This morning, having put on those soaking wet clothes that smell like, I mean, I can smell myself. Like as I walk, I can smell this like B.O., musty, mildewy, just, I mean, between like already being stinky and then like everything being wet, like it makes it worse. And it smells so bad. So my advice to anyone who wants to do a through hike is you need to lay out some of your, like lay out an outfit, like shorts and a shirt or pants and a shirt like outside when it rains pours rain leave it out there for a little while make sure it's getting wet make sure it's getting stingy and then i want you to put it on i want you to put that on and then i want you to go like shopping and go around town wearing it <laughs> and then tell me if you really want to do it through hiking <laughs> because you're gonna be doing that i'm just gonna tell you yeah that's pretty much typical if it's rained I mean, unless you're gonna carry extra clothes, and I can tell you most of the hikers do not carry extra. They carry one dry, one set of clothes for to be dry in, like sleeping in, and then one to wear. So if that one that you're wearing gets wet, you take it off when you get to camp in your, your tent so you can be dry, and the next morning you put those same wet clothes back on. And sometimes wet socks, but I personally recommend that you carry extra socks. I carry three pair. Um, in the summer, I don't even wear socks. When I go to bed, I just take my socks off so my feet can air out. But like in the winter, I have a dry pair and then I have two uh, clean pair. And that usually will get me through. But if you think you're gonna be like where it's really wet or something, then maybe carry an extra pair. So I have four pair. I mean, it's worth it. I mean, having dry socks is like super important, I think. I just climbed like a straight up section. It was so steep that I was on my tippy toes. And with this humidity, like it is, oh my God, it's just like soul sucking. Oh, that wind feels good though. There's like a breeze. Thank you. Thank you. Please just blow away, blow away. Keep blowing, not blow away, but just keep blowing. And earlier I said to go shopping in your wet clothes. I think you should have to go hiking. So like when you're gonna plan a hike, even a day hike, you gotta wear wet, stinky clothes. And then if you can do that, then maybe you can through hike. <laughs> I was gonna say, if you can do that, not complain, but part of Every, doing everything out here is complaining to kind of like get it off your chest just so you can kind of move on with your day in case let me give you all a little secret when people say embrace the suck if you hear a through hiker or someone say like Darwin he says embrace the suck a little secret he's being sarcastic <laughs> and you're not going to find that out unless you go through because I feel like that's really where you learn what suck is. And yes, you do kind of have to deal with it. You don't really have a choice. But embracing it, loving it, oh no. Not loving it. Looking forward to days when I don't have to be in nasty sweaty clothes. <laughs> Oh, hi. Well, you must not be hunted. Because you're not scared. It's the first deer I've seen in a while that hasn't been, like, freaked out. Oh, is that your baby? But your baby's so cute. Look at the little boy. Shoot. Oh, hi. I'm not going to 
hurt your baby. I promise. I'm a mom too. Oh. It's really hard to film that because it's just a bunch of rocks and I have to like use both my poles and stuff and my pack it's not sitting right again <clears throat> and I think it's has to do with the fact that I'm really sweaty and my shirt is completely soaked and this the back you know the pad part is soaked so it just can't sit on my hips no matter how much I keep pull pushing it up you know and then it just roll, you know, goes back down so it's making the pack uncomfortable. And um and this humidity, I mean it's just got to go already. It's ridiculous. I mean, I mean it is just freaking ridiculous. It just makes everything awful. It does make me miss the cold, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really like the gold. I, I haven't changed my mind on that, but right now, I like warmer weather. I just don't like all this humidity. I mean, it's been the really high humidity. I mean, suffocating me. Anyway, so no, I'm only filming anything that's pretty interesting, like the deer or something. I had to stop and take a break. Just this humidity, the rocks. Marty's exhausted. I think I saw like seven miles left. She's sad. I only went like two miles. <laughs> but look, I'm licking my leg. I got like this blue stuff. I don't even know how that happened. Yeah, just pay, don't pay attention to the dirt. But look, look. How in the world did that get on me? I didn't do that at launch. I really don't know where that came from. <laughs> like, I, like, yeah, like. Who knows? <sighs> I've gotten a little bit of a break from all the rocks. I really hope this lasts for a little while. I desperately need a break from it. I mean, there's still rocks, but I'm a lot more dirt than rock. <sighs> That'd be so helpful. I might could actually make a little bit of my a little bit of my miles. Just <clears throat> In case you all were wondering, it did not last. I got right back to rockiness pretty quick. It's been like this pretty much the whole way. Oh, I am so tired. Now I'm going to show you the kind of rocks you have to walk over and why. I mean, there's also jagged and pointed. And it's like, you watch your, I have to constantly look at the ground, watch my feet, and I still end up stepping on the sharp ones, even when I don't mean to. And it uh, just makes hiking difficult. Like, my feet are constantly wobbling. And of course it's humid, it's, it's so humid, so I'm just dripping sweat. Anyway, that is, I think that's what some of us hikers can me about the rocks in Pennsylvania. Oh, God. Oh, my fear killing me. And it's been like this the whole day. Like the whole day, I mean, there's no breaks. So... Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. And it's funny because I've heard other hikers who live up north say, even though it's rocky, it's sometimes just different. Rocks, different. Just different. I don't know. It's just. Yeah. And it really wears you down, like your motivation, your. Just, I don't know. 
really it's really exhausting. <clears throat> and it's funny because it really wasn't like the shelter was 14 miles away, you know, it wasn't like you get like well I could stop sooner or something, you know. And you have to go to there because that's where the water source is. Because there's not a water source before there. So it's like it's intentional that you have to hike over all of these rocks for hours and hours because yeah. So this is why everybody's like, I can't wait to go to Pennsylvania. This is why. Because in the beginning I was like, oh, but the rocks aren't that bad. I don't know why everybody complains. You know, it's really not that bad. And it's not until the latter half of Pennsylvania. And then you've got about 60 miles of just rock. This is Wolf Ridge, Wolf Rocks, sorry, Wolf Rocks. Ow! All right, going to climb over. And then keeps going. Oh, wow. Or what is that? Is that a vulture? Huh. Whoa. Wow, did you hear the wings? The, his, the wings flapping? Holy smoke, that was loud. That's crazy. I wonder if he's like looking for snakes. Okay, so this is the kind of stuff that just is irking me about Pennsylvania. So here's a blaze, right? This is where I just came from. But when I turn around, there's literally no blaze. None. None on these rocks. None. So I have no idea which way to go. And I've tried to walk different paths, and none of them seem to have a blaze. No. Finally found a blaze. I mean, but I had to kind of walk around all those rocks. And, I mean, I know it's not like, obviously, I mean... It's not like that, that big a deal to have to walk a little, but at the same time, it's just, it can be frustrating because you don't want to go the wrong way. You don't want to have to backtrack or do something dangerous because you went the wrong way. I don't know. Anyway, so I would show you what's off the cliffs, but there's nothing. There's really no views. Just a bunch of rocks to climb over. All right, I'm just going to show you all this real quick. Oh, I'm kind of tired to get my phone out. So I gotta traverse all those rocks all the way down there. All right, take a good look. And now I get to go down. That makes me miss the little rocks, <laughs> the little stabby rocks. I only have two miles left. This may be the longest two miles ever. So glad to be off that and back on the little rocks again. The nice thing is I only have two miles to the shelter. So, if it stays like it is right now, then I'll get there by seven. That'll be good. <clears throat> Yay. I should have enough water to last me two, or two miles. I thought that, I think there might be water jugs at this parking lot, I just, I don't know. But I know there's uh, water at the shelter, so that's good. Oh man, look at this magnificence of a trail right now. Oh my gosh, this would totally make my day if the rest of the trail could be like this till I get to the shelter. Like I would take it till it gets to the parking line. 
Oh my gosh. It's like I can like fly when it's like this. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, I haven't seen, <laughs> seen this type of trail. It feels like it's so long. Love it, love it, love it. It's so pretty. But here, this is nice. Seriously, I'm still walking on this amazing trail. Oh, this is such a blessing. I mean, usually you can't understand. I mean, two days of just straight rocks. <laughs> Oh, it's so daunting. I had to eat my words about that because it really does mentally get to you. And kind of physically too, but... Well, definitely physically, but... Oh my gosh, it's just... But you gotta have the not so great to really appreciate the great. And stuff like this and this. And it may be like this right here because there's day hikers go out to that, I guess, go out to the wolf rocks. I mean, I don't know, but fine. <laughs> I'll take the day hiker trail pass any day. So when I get stuff like this, I'm not a two mile per hour. I'm more like a two and a half mile per hour. Maybe even more. It's this. I'm just giddy with excitement. <laughs> Y'all think I've lost my mind. And I probably have. Oh my gosh. Well, the trail is turned into this like old row bed. And it does have some rocks, but I'm still able to keep up that same pace. If only we could just keep the nets on my eyeballs. But honestly, oh my gosh, this is just awesome. This is so awesome. I've made it down to the road. So I only have half a mile to the shelter. Yay! Woohoo! Man, look at all this amazing water. Oh my gosh, so much water. Those are tinting. Oh, it's over here. Okay, cool. Okay. All right, my tent is set up. Woohoo! <clears throat> And the shelter is down there. It's not a whole lot of tending space here. Um, and then like right there is a road and there's like a hang gliding place right over there. Hmm. Mm, tonight is lasagna, not a house. Look, it is so good. It's one of my favorite meals besides basically gravy. Mm -hmm.